January 2000, I was in Florida qualifying and practicing for the 2000 season and hit the wall. 200 miles an hour, uh, blew apart my C3, C4 vertebrae. Doctor at that time said, you might have three to five years to live. So now it's 22 years later. Sam Schmidt, uh, former IndyCar driver and now a uh, team owner of Aero McLaren SP. I started racing when I was five years old in motocross in uh, Southern California and my dad raced off road and like that's what we did. <laughs> uh, we didn't do baseball, basketball or football. Uh, we just raced. In 2000, I got hurt, went home, six months of rigorous rehabilitation and everything that goes on with it. But the lifestyle of racing was, I was on the road 150 days a year, you know? And so six months in, my wife's like, you need to find something to do. <laughs> we founded Sam Schmidt Motorsports. Still a lot of travel, and I started looking into how do I do this right? Because uh, it's just a lot different. You show up at a hotel, you want an ADA accessible room with a rolling shower. At least 40% of the time, the room was not available or it was not what was assigned. My life before my injury was racing, and I wanted it to be racing after that. What we're in is a brand new 2022 uh, Dutch Star. A uh, diesel pusher, pretty much got all the bells and whistles. I think really, going back to the beginning, one of the things I really appreciated about Noir is the fact that they were open to doing this without knowing what the financial benefits would be, right? So frankly, we started working with another manufacturer and it was a disaster, right? Everything had to be you know, built offline and customized and so I believe it was around 2005, 2006 that I went to Newmar. So at that time we really started like figuring out how could we design something that could be built on the assembly line and wasn't, everyone wasn't custom, right? Newmar Corporation builds mobility accessible motorhomes specifically for that purpose. So they go down the same assembly line as all of the other products that we manufacture. They're not retrofitted or reversed engineered in any shape, way, or form. When they come off the line, they're ready for a wheelchair accessible customer to use the unit. Sam had a lot of input in the product on the front side, but once we did come out with the 3911 Canyon Star, um, Sam brought all kinds of things, special needs that he had to our attention that even with all the research we did up front, we had no idea that what we were really um, needing to develop out there. You know, I think they honestly got about 80% there, but there's nothing like living in a wheelchair, right? And so I got in the coach and rolled around and basically, you know, the switches need to be lowered. Uh, everything needs to be visually lower. And then there's a lot of sort of extra room needed in the bedroom to get in and out of the chair if you have a caregiver. Once we got into it, what we found out is there are a lot of prospective customers out there that have children that are in a wheelchair all the veterans that came home in a physical condition that was extremely different from what it was when they went overseas. There's a large population out there that doesn't know that they can get back into life, life with their family, getting out of the house. This, this has given them an opportunity to go out and, and get through the outdoors, go hunting, go fishing, do different things. Currently, we're in beautiful Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin for the Road America IndyCar race. It's an iconic venue. This is traditional IndyCar racing uh, in the middle of the country, and it's just, it's wholesome. It's brought some beer. It's uh, good music, good people. My situation is a little unique because the team is based in Indianapolis. I basically fly with a backpack. My assistant in Indianapolis will drive the van up with all my components in it. And then the team member, Kevin, drives the coach up here. And I will sometimes uh, during the summer with back-to-back -back Midwest races, just ride in it to the next race and enjoy a few extra days and bring my family in. 
typical race day, um, I might have some meetings here. We might be going straight down for qualifying or for practice and then back here. So it's kind of in and out all day. The coach on a race weekend really becomes more than just a place to sleep. It's a place where you can gather with your partners. At the same time, uh, we like to have a good time, you know, and so we'll regularly just grill outside, you know, have a few drinks, uh, let loose. I'll have local friends that will come out. I can't do that on a normal basis, right? I can't just hop on a plane. Effectively, you start a project, you know, for me to go to work, but at the end of the day, uh, it, it has helped so many people you know, just get over their, their locked-in approach and, and be able to get out and enjoy life. I mean, the evolution of the coach and the Newmar relationship is never like, oh, no, we're not going to do that. I mean, every time, without a doubt, it was, yeah, that sounds, that we can, we can put that right in there and just do it automatically. When I took delivery of my first accessible motorhome and I spent the entire first weekend looking for delivery problems, and there were none, that's when you know the difference.